Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at polynomials, namely just the factorization of polynomials. So what I've got written up is a polynomial in its standard quadratic form, where we'll have some coefficients, a, b, and c. We're only looking at real coefficients, and because they're real, this means that this polynomial is a real polynomial. What we're saying with factorization is that this polynomial can be rewritten, rewritten simply in this form here, whereas x minus alpha, x minus beta. Now in this form, we are saying that this alpha and this beta are the roots of the polynomial. Because when we substitute in either of those values, we'll simply get alpha minus alpha, alpha minus beta, this term will be zero. And it doesn't matter what the second term is, the whole polynomial will be zero. So with factorizing, essentially what we're doing is we're taking what we already know, which in this case is the given polynomial, and we're just rewriting it in some simpler form. So a good example of this is the number 30. You know, that is all well and good. But that is the same thing as saying 5 times 6, where 5 and 6 are factors of 30. Here, we are just saying that x minus alpha and x minus beta are the factors of this polynomial. Now, how do we know that x minus alpha is a factor of our polynomial? Well, this is where the long division part of this uh, course comes into play you might be asked to divide x minus alpha you must be asked to divide a polynomial by x minus alpha and what we'll get when we do this whole long division process is the quotient so that'll be the solution to the long division and you might also get a remainder which can also be a function of x however if we are dividing just by this monic linear term our remainder will just be a constant. So we saw by this long division process that this polynomial will be equal to our divisor multiplied by the quotient plus the remainder. Now how do we know that this divisor x minus alpha is a factor of the polynomial? Well by the factor theorem any polynomial divided by a factor will have a remainder of zero. So we can almost omit that. It'll just look like this form here from our long division. Or there is no you know, constant added to this sort of factorized term up here. And the remainder theorem basically states that if you divide a polynomial by something that might look like a factor, we will get our quotient plus the remainder. And if we substitute in this value here into our polynomial, we will simply get the remainder. because this thing we are dividing by is not a factor. And let's just zoom out to show a summary of everything we've written so far.